by Square Enix. Final Fantasy series. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Now, so I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep and that Anybody? sure didn't feel uh, like a dream. Like you were asleep to me. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? She looks like a I can hear the killer. class laughing at me <laughs> yeah, now. That's really creepy. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity. I can't as torture, believe I right? still have this pencil case. And frankly, it's I should bullshit. upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Seriously though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you. I in can't a believe I still have this pencil case. Yeah. I should upgrade to the 21st oh, yeah, century. But I like it old school. I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. <laughs> she had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. 
A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Yes. You're asking me? Well, yeah. Let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created <laughs> daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Yeah, I don't think so. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. If anybody else looked at this, what oh, would they God. think? Every month, weather of the year, I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. I can't bust out the big coats or sweaters for scary movies yet. Soon, Kate let me borrow the October Country by Red. Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I had oh shit. <laughs> Geek cred. I haven't read that either. I'm not a geek. I'm a geek cred. Uh huh. Your geek card. You have to turn it in. If you haven't read uh, Battle Royale. Have you read Battle Royale? I never said I was a geek. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. Last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I had pictures in one of my old albums. None of this seems in any way like. I would kill myself if somebody read this. No, but it's probably not like a journal, a private journal. It's like more, um... I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a vortex club stroke and swim... Oh, wait, stro stro stroke fest swimming party? What, what the were fuck? You <laughs> what were you about to say? <laughs> vortex stroke and some... <laughs> stroking in some swimsuits. That sounds totally normal. Uh, I don't know what type of parties you went to. It's an honest mistake. <laughs> so, what the fuck is a stroke fest swimming party? Vortex <laughs> Club Stroke Fest swimming party. That sounds weird. It's like that, that sounds weird. Or is that. Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. We haven't finished her weird thoughts yet. Go back. Um. Okay, hold up. I, I don't know. How Click to get... it. This? Oh, okay. Or is that backstroke fest? You so punny, Max. Oh, Jesus. Um, at least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on the loop, you have all the time in the world. No, it's not true. Oh, it's not all too long, how are you? I got accepted into Blackwell Academy! <laughs> That's enthusiasm. If words could dance, this world would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares? Because I got into Blackwell Academy! I didn't think I'd be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town, but when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse. Ooh. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw... Uh, uh, the word, the first you? word, congratulations, oh, okay, yeah, I think I screamed. Oh, okay. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They were so weird. But they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. That would, that would be exciting too. Um, this means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself, in caps, THAT I AM GOING TO BLACKWELL ACADEMY! I forgot to do your arm thing. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the arm flying. Oh, Jesus, she writes a lot. So this is it! 
<laughs> I'm leaving Seattle to go back to our. So are they in Blackwell Academy right now? Uh, maybe. Uh, usually people go to high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest. Back in a town, I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along, just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends. I bet she's a bitch. But I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking. Do with girls play pa pirate? You are a nerd. Yeah. I did the Yu Yu Hakusha <laughs> thing too. I was Kurama. I, I've never. Shh. It's okay. I still love you. But Seattle wasn't like a fable. Oh, contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson. <sighs> I'm not sure if that was a happy or good side. And, oh, okay. Insert heart. That was a good one. And flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my class boys, my classmates. <clears throat> I can talk. Or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. And the oh dear, with the monocle and the mustache. <clears throat> yeah, good word. Shit is crazy here. Why does she write Don't crazy do with a K? That's, that's, that's <laughs> crazy. That's what that's, that's so stupid that looks. Shit is crazy with a K. Cray here. cray. Oh, ew. Yeah. I didn't realize how much crap <laughs> I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. Mom and Dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though, why? What's what's the terrible spelling? Though I caught my mom crying. Well, she she's not going into church. literature. She's going into photography. <laughs> what? Yeah. That bothers me. I hate when people. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes. Then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe and who knows how different we are now. So I cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings. Maybe date a cute foreign exchange artist. From Paris or Rome, I can do anything unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited. And then, then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arm, sensing the universe opening up for me, and I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different. Oh, yeah. How old is this girl? 12? 13? Uh, 14? God. Maybe? I don't know. 16? Uh, yeah, 16 is generally like the age that. Um, the main characters are in most. I hope she's like, like 14. Japanese game. Because I can understand a 14 year old talking like this. 14 was a weird age. But so she's I going think. to a university, so she's probably 18. No, she's going to high school. Blackwell University? She's going to high school. She's I thought it was a university. I hope she's not 18. Uh, people usually go to high school closest to home. So she's probably 15. Blackwell Academy. Oh, Academy. Academy. Yeah, so she's fif she's she's like fifteen. All right, all right. This is excuse. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Woo! I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can already see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled in new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But here now, oh, but I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. It's really hard to read when I'm like in the way. Well, I know it's hard to play that way too. <laughs> Long enough. When you're playing Overcooked and like your screen's always on the bottom left. I don't even need. I don't even need that to be in the way. I have ingredients in the way when I play that. I I, I find I find <laughs> stuff to get to get in the way of that fucking game. Anyway, we're playing this one now. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate Brooke Taylor Alyssa, 
And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes. As if I'm Blackwell to strike fashion but wait, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. I can read. Maybe well I'm ha! Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, so that wasn't fun along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier to be, you know, fat, call the Wambulance. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. I don't want this day to end <laughs> all woe is Mac. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Oh, God. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Ah, dreamy sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. You're going to have to read some more again. September 4th. I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us news a day to cl uh, acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. Oh, God. Broody. Okay, brutal, but broody. Broody, 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 broody. Anyway, so he comes across... <laughs> I'm funny. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner. Or a good friend. Already friends so. though. She wants the bottom. I'll I'll need at least one one based on the I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought about being eight oh, I thought being eighteen meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drum anymore. I thought She's eighteen and she I talks like you. this? I'm disgusted. Oh, I'm still kind of sick. Um, at least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. Oh my gosh, he talks like this every day. He doesn't try to be too hip. He says what he thinks and expects us all, expects us, <laughs> expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Said OMG. Oh my god, I want to marry him! <laughs> Just joking! This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. I refuse to say all these things. Homework is kicking my ass. Ugh. This is how she should talk. This is how she sounds. This is how she writes. I bet the teacher's grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't even that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clout with the way more money and attitude that sounds possible. That's how that sounds. This is how that sounds. This is, this is what people sound like now. <laughs> this is her inner monologue when she's reading? Yeah. This is, this is how she really uh, sounds. Uh, his family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> and I heard Wait, okay, story about... okay. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bang to Blackwell. So Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, don't look at me like that. No, I'm getting out. Oh, That's okay. I thought <laughs> you were judging me. I'm judging me. So Nathan uh, acts I'll judge like you he... later <laughs> when I'm watching this. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Just know I've never sounded like this once in my life. I've known people. <laughs> so Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say check. I get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get the other way. It's good to be the king and queen. She's fucking lying. She's just sitting in class reading this book like, yeah, she, for she the eight minutes straight. Two shits. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate and Mark. She's down the hall in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and your outfit. See? I'm already playing their drama games. No more! Oh my god. Last page. Because we already read eight, uh, page 8. 
finally had a chance to take some extra sh wait, actual shots around campus today. <laughs> extra <to> shots. <laughs> a perfect blue, a perfect blue sky day. I'm, I'm getting all fucked up because I'm trying to think of all like the stupid way to read this. Then just read it normal. <laughs> I can't. It hurts my soul reading it normal more than it hurts me doing this. God, I have to. Um, I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures because I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes Photo Contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of public publicity. He wants just one photograph like from each student. It was really difficult to say that word. I almost fucked it up, so I had to, like, reestablish my, like, recompute. Um... He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. Why do you write sigh? What was the point? Anyway, I don't, I don't know whether I love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit to even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I don't clone him to take him to my, you know, take him, put to, to, to take him to my Too place. bad I can't clone him to take my place in class, because I can read. I'm good at reading. I'm a preschool teacher. I do all the reading. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and pa passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means act asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? All right. So Victoria's the bitch. And Kate's the one that she threw the paper ball at. Or did- Yes. Yeah, okay. Cornelius. Great. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. Uh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I'm gonna use it. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That's a five thousand dollar something. Camera. Damn. Know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Well, that printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I hope I didn't embarrass you. You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Victoria is already won. Wanna grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. Fine. No Can worries. Let's hang later. Sure. I'm pretty sure if we talk about Victoria to her, she's gonna have some kind of psychotic break. She looks like she's about to die. <laughs> Huh, this might make a cool shot. Alright, why not? Now it reminds me even more of Fatal Frame. Taking pictures of shit. Yeah, only Neo and Mayu 
were not this ridiculous. They actually had. Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Hello. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist
Now I can turn this in. That's a boy. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. Oh, wait. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. Ish. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the My human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Oh. Because of her images of hopeless. Can you give me I an actually example did of a it. Photographer who perfectly captured the human, human time machine. Life. Anybody? Bueller. Max, don't Damn. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. <gasps> when I took my selfie, totally Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max. Has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. Oh, I want to answer the question. <laughs> right? You're like, ha-ha, I'm a smug ass I'm rubbish. sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. <clears throat> we can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Detail in people's face. Uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please like some, like, tell us the name of the process that gave like, birth to the first like, self portrait? The Daguerreans process gave birth to the first self portrait. The Daguerreans process, invented by a French painter named 
Louise Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Ha <laughs> ha. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely I popular, say that. mainly Fucking because it gave boring. the subjects clear <laughs> defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of Evan. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Ooh. Yes, Victoria, you run? still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Ah, oh, just give him my photo. You'll just do it, just hand it to him. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'll just do it, you son of a bitch. Uh, I'm not avoiding... Yeah, just do it, yeah, I'm not avoiding. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. I said I had Max, to don't wait too long. He does not remember that. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. You'll have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. <laughs> I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max! You're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. <laughs> Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I don't really think that was worthy of a go back in time and possibly kill yourself, but okay. Yeah, it never goes well. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Power job? Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's paid? Oh, I don't tease. I hate Wait, isn't that, that him? science class with those nerves. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> because if you send me a picture. Get a red tag. Hey. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, so it's I need a hammer to break it open. Uh... You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. <clears throat> if I can reverse time again, I can help her. Oh, cool. Worse than drugs. Nobody you would retain, ever uh, even miss your punk ass, would they? The items from going back in time. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. <laughs> Another shitty day. Oh, gosh. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the oh, fuck no. is going on? Do not freak out. What was fast moving? R2? R2. R2. Oh, shit, it's coming Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. 
The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. They haven't even checked it out. Right. They don't give a shit. They're just like, yeah. Oh, yeah I don't yeah, see any whatever. fucking sm smoke. <laughs> You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. me out. Look at his face. Yeah. It's changing. Report him? Yeah. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just <laughs> want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? What? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you Why gonna bust him? The this is serious charge so because her story I'll look into the matter personally thank you for bringing it to my attention but that would that's it like after what I told we'll you we'll continue well, this like discussion later well. in She's my office please go outside with the rest of your class now Miss Caulfield of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now should I rewind and change my story Are you know. curious? About what's gonna happen if you just hide the truth? Yeah. Well, he's just not gonna know any better. But if he looks into it now, that kid's not gonna do anything else. Whereas, if we hide the truth, he might go try to do some weird shit again. You could stop him later. I guess. Since she has the power to go back in time, so she tries to kill and or rape or do whatever it is that this creepy well, I don't, jackass is gonna do. I don't know how far back we can go. To change your answer. Oh, cool. Yeah. So if you hold the L2 and then R2, <laughs> that doesn't look weird at all. I'm trying to give you a heart attack. You look a little stressed out. <clears throat> I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think so that's the count. first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. <sighs> yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You think so? Yeah. You look a little stressed out. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. N I feel like the don't wander around here. Get on outside. Then, you know, like her career, her future career. But if they don't find anything wrong, then she just comes off as a cry wolf. Well, her other one was Cry Wolf anyway. 
No, it was just minding her own business. No, it, it, no, it wasn't. It was basically like you just caused conflict. I'm going to talk to your parents about it for no reason. Like you're hiding stuff. And then because you know when when you think somebody's hiding something. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Like the worst Thank case you. scenario, they may start to build it up. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened but to her. Different girl? Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. I think it'd be pretty cool. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, how could your mind just logically just be like, okay? Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. <laughs> um, Stay no way. No way. Victoria. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, not. but she's not creepy. the only player. They're all 18. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Yeah. Well, I heard that from a good source. Right? Oh, Rachel, the, the one that's missing. Oh. Oh. You knew Rachel? So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Like, after the fact? Like, after she went missing, everybody was like, yeah, dude, she's fucking crazy as fuck. Hello. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my I dorm. I think it's in that direction. I have deduced this. Kind of like flipping a coin. 
Ah, oh god, that fucking sound of that fly, I thought it was real. Oh my god. Well, I don't have it on this side. I have this off so I can like hear surrounding stuff oh. better. And it was just here. So I forgot I was wearing headphones for like a split second when I heard the fly and I was like, ah! Cause I was like, wait a second. Oh, wait, there was no here. Yeah, because, you know, it was cute. Yeah. Yeah, that. No one saw that. Nobody saw. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Brah? Brah. Bring it. Yeah. Is that what people sound like now? Am I am I just ignorant? Is this how people talk? I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. But I also only hang out with people who sound like me. It's the game. I know, but I hate it! <laughs> oh my god. I was so loud! Right in my ear. Ooh. Instinctively, I just want to bat at it. Damn it, I gotta get through these dishes. Okay, Yeah, but it's the Horror Patrol. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, no. the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. No. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Just oh wait, around hold that pose. Awesome. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Nice. Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. I like when people like almost pass her. She's like, oh god, yeah, don't touch don't me. Don't touch oh. me, uh -huh. fucking peasant. Uh -huh. <sighs> what the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah. Water on my cashmere? Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Do it again? Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. All right. Um. Oh, football guys. Yep. I think you might have to catch the football in midair. Uh, awesome. missed something. I better rewind. What the hell do you want me to do with it? Do you understand English? Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Okay. My only hope. Nope. 
I need to figure this out. Sorry, no paparazzi. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Oh, God. No. No. Damn it. So if you push L1, you just do it really fucking fast. Do you, do you understand English? Get lost. Watch this bitch. No. I missed something. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Alright. Well, I'm gonna call it for now because we got a movie to watch. Until the next time. See ya.